All right. The MOOC core program here at BU is uh, for second year students. Two students compete together, write a written product together, and then argue in front of uh, either alums or real judges. I decided to do it because I'm really interested in uh, appellate advocacy, in particular how to convince uh, a panel of judges about, the, about your position and convince them in its, its uh, righteousness. Yes, Your Honor. In, in, indeed, the, the, this court could interpret the statute that way and avoid the First Amendment issue entirely. It's interesting because you, uh, you write your brief in you know, Jul or January and February, and by the time you're done, it's uh, the end of April. You have prepared for so many months and you've changed your argument so many times. It doesn't look anything like the brief you wrote because you keep picking things up from different judges and attorneys and um, your classmates. The portrayal of a, of a minor engaging in sexually explicit conduct. Once you get to the, the final round, it's, there aren't any questions you haven't heard yet. You kind of grow really comfortable with where the judges are going to go. The judges in the final round really had a good time with it. They brought a little bit of humor in and they made it I think a lot easier on us not to feel intimidated and not to feel, like, oh my God, these are circuit court judges. They're going to hammer away at me. I was supposed to refer to the findings of fact of the district court, even though we're the Supreme Court of the United States. Well, Your Honor, the... the, I this... to say that. <laughs> <laughs> you, could, you could tell they were enjoying it. And when you got the feel that they were enjoying it, then you could kind of enjoy it too. Supreme Court of the United States is now in session. Beginning with the issue of how the case gets created, a group of students here at the law school, uh, third-year students, write the problem. And they, they look to design a problem that is not heavily slanted to one side or the other. The issue was more is, is pretty apparent today. Is it something that a lot of sexting goes on and a lot of images sent between minors? So it was a real issue. And that there is no difference between the pornographic image involved here and those images that were held not protected by the representing the government side. You don't really feel good putting an 18-year-old in jail for five years. So you're gonna have to look. You look past that to just focusing on the law and focusing on. This is what we need to do to protect everybody. It was interesting because it's you know it was a Gmail account that the government gained access to, and I had to argue that you do not have a reasonable expectation of privacy in your email, in your Gmail. And I, you know, meanwhile, I'm a Gmail user, and so I'm learning all these different aspects about uh, whether you have a privacy expectation or not in you know a mode of communication we use a lot. I think moot court is, is is a really great way to do the sort of things that you're going to have to do as a lawyer. It's an opportunity to. You know, be adversarial. It's an opportunity to research in a different context. In the moot court setting, you really feel like you're representing somebody. You really, you really feel involved. <laughs>